What is going on everyone and welcome to Cart 6 t 3 My name is Ben, in case you needed to know that up front because I'd like to introduce myself. So uh, on today's uh, Quick Video Tuesday, Quick Tip Tuesday, it's not a tip again today, it's a, a theory or my reaction to something. So uh, you didn't win? Uh, <laughs> so a good friend of mine, uh, you know, he comes in the shop frequently and he's just like, oh, how'd you do this weekend? And I, I think last weekend I did a second or third. This past weekend I did a second. And uh, he says, you know, you didn't win. And while I'm flattered that people think that I win all the time, I've, I've won some major races, but in honesty, I've lost far more than I've ever won. I, you know, I, I think I'm a, a pretty fast guy. Uh, I tend to run up front, you know, up in the Northeast, but and on a grand spectrum, you know, say we're talking about unlimited all-stars, eh, you know, hit or miss. Sometimes I'm, I'm pretty quick and can, uh, can, you know, run up there with some of the leaders, sometimes not so much. It's It's been a real hit or miss. But this kind of got my mind uh, bouncing around. So uh, about a year ago, I started boxing with my son. Uh, now we go to the gym, so we lift weights. And I'm the type of personality when I, I do things, I like to absorb a lot of knowledge. So I turn to YouTube and I start YouTubing, you know, uh, weight routines and, and different personalities and that. And I came across the gentleman named Greg Doucette and he's Canadian. He's been a bodybuilding, you know, he's Guinness Book World Records or something for deadlifts. Lots of stuff. He's done lots of stuff. Anyway, he owns a supplement company after a, a, a term he came up with and it's harder than last time. So when you think about the grand scheme of things, you know, why haven't you won? Well, I think that that term could be how much of that uh, that effort are you putting into your race program? Um, are you going that extra mile? You know, you, it, it'd be easy to just sit back. Oh, this guy's outspent me. He's got a he's better got a better card. He's got brand new new tires. And these are these are you know very real things. You know, when somebody's spending a lot of money and they they have the premium equipment over you. Uh, it's not insurmountable though. It can be beat. You can outwork that. I, I am not, you know, I don't, I have some really, really good equipment now. Don't get me wrong, but my mind goes back to when I was running my 04 Trick Panaz. I had a 125 Sedam on there. Now, you know, for some of you uh, stocker guys, this is gibberish, but it's a very small engine. And I was racing against, you know, some teams with a lot better equipment. And more invested in stuff. We were down, I believe it was Co Valley or Coview, Co Valley. Uh, it was a quarter point race for Unlimited All Stars, and there I was. I, I won both my heats, and we. I think the feature ended up raining out, if I'm not mistaken. But I was. We were all lined up on the grid, ready to go on track for the feature, and I was looking to be one of the guys to be. You know, starting from pole and. Heavens opened up, it downpoured, and we're just, we're up at the, the grid. They're like, all right, we lost the track. You know, they called the race. I won the race, you know, just by default. But we turn around and we're looking at, you know, truck and trailer and truck and trailer. And this is, you know, my friend was pointing out, he says, look at this line. Look at this line of thing. And back then, I was transporting myself in a 01 caravan. I was pulling out the back seat. I was stuffing my cart in the back of it. I was piling everything around, starter, everything I needed for the race day. Drove down into Pennsylvania and faced some very stiff competition on a old chassis with a underpowered engine. And I was sitting on pole, ended up winning a race due to the rain. But he was just like, look at all this money. Look at the tires. And then there's Ben's caravan sitting there. Effort can pull you through. Harder than last time. Did you stay in the garage that little bit more? Did you scale that little bit more? Did you, you know, pay attention to what your tires needed? Did you know these are all efforts that you can put forth to to beat those people with a little more financial backing behind them? You know, so uh, that's that's. Did you win? I may not have won, but did you try hard enough that you're in the position to be in a winning cart? And uh, I guess that's that's my little. <laughs> Not staying in on a soapbox, because that's kind of weird. Uh, like I said, I've lost a lot of races, but I just, I, sometimes I hear that at track, you know, it, it's kind of a fault for people just like, oh, so-and-so's got this, and so-and-so's got So what? Go out there and grab it. Work harder. 
because you know the the only way that's going to happen the only way that i think that you're going to be able to beat people with more money more tires better equipment is to be to outwork them in the garage before that day so that's my thought on it you can disagree if you want i drop it down in the comments you say ah, i don't know man you're wrong on this one <laughs> to each your own everybody's got their own opinion and uh that's that's the way it should be this is america right? <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, I appreciate you coming by. If you didn't mind, thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you like this type of stuff. I promise not to do too many of these, you know, theorem videos, but I kind of like them. It's just my thoughts on things. And maybe, you know, some of you agree, or maybe, you know, somebody needed some confirmation. Like, hey, man, I, I kind of think that as well. You know, you're not the only one. I'm here thinking that, that stuff too. So, <laughs> all right, guys, I will see you next Tuesday.